In summer 2018, Incredibles 2, the much anticipated sequel to Incredibles, came out. Oh no. So beside me we have a collection of the best toys that we think came out of Incredibles 2 and the whole family is represented here. We have daughter Violet, father Mr. Incredible, mother Elastigirl, Dash, the overlooked middle child, and the hero Jack-Jack and the raccoon, the best of all the characters. Let's see what they can do. First up, we're gonna talk about Elastigirl, which is $15 from Just Play, and it seems like a slam dunk for a toy. All you have to do is make the toy elastic. If you look at the box, she seems mad stretchy. You know, not super stretchy. I have to say, I'm not sold that this is the stretchiest. What I like about this toy is that it's plush and soft, so even if you don't rip it apart limb from limb, like some medieval torturer, it's still fun to cuddle with. This is the Violet action figure by Jack Pacific. It's about $15, but pretty high quality for what it is. Um, there are 11 articulated parts, so like many teenagers, she is flexible. She has a mask which comes on and off, so there's an activity you can do with Violet. And her face knocks it out of the park. That looks like the character. She has a really lovely hair color. It's a beautiful tone. Here's uh, Elastigirl. She's also posable, and this is also pretty affordable. So for your baseline entry merchandise for Incredibles 2, this Jack Pacific is a really great starting point. Dash does exist in other merchandise, but we chose this little Funko figurine, which is about 10 bucks. There's like over 300 of them. You see them in comic book shops. They're kind of more collectibles than toys, but they're affordable collectibles because they're not that much. All he does is rotate like this. In combination with the rest of the character set, which includes Screen Slaver, Underminer, which is a great name for a villain, Frozone, and the rest of his nuclear family, it does look cool. This is a Mr. Incredible talking movable doll by Thinkway. It's $35. He's struggling uh, with his role as a stay-at-home father and middle age. So I relate. If you press the I, he says a couple of stock phrases. Sounds like it's time to save the day. It's showtime. So if you pull the leg back, it makes a generic fighting sound. And if you pull the arm back, same. Oh, that's a little bit better than I thought. Look at that Roman nose and that strong chin, two of the things that I loved most about Mr. Incredible's physique. My only quibble with Mr. Incredible is that he can't stand on his own. He needs the invisible structure of the patriarchy to prop him up. Now the baby of the family, and arguably the most talented, is Jack-Jack. We named this one of the uh, top 100 toys of 2018. So if you wanna watch a more in-depth review, check it out. When you press the button, Jack-Jack makes noise. But if you keep on pressing his belly button, he becomes a demon and lights up. It's getting angrier. There it is. This little hair tuft comes out quite easily. I brought a version of this home and my five-year-old ripped this out in like two seconds. So keep that in mind. It also comes with a raccoon that doesn't do anything, but he's cute, so no harm, no foul. It's about $40, so it's getting to the very expensive toy slash inexpensive collectible uh, strata of Incredibles 2 merchandise. My favorite character has always been Jack-Jack, who is multi-talented and adorable and throws tantrums just like I do. Make sure you subscribe for more videos like this and stay tuned. Bye!